All right, here we go with a new Let's Play. Uh, this one was supposed to be um, the infamous Plumbers Don't Wear Ties, but I couldn't get my recording software to work with the emulator, which is really frustrating considering that Plumbers Don't Wear Ties is a game full of still images, but um, anyway. So I skipped ahead to the next game I plan to play, which is Megami Tensei 2. Not Shin Megami Tensei, but Megami Tensei 2, the, which came out originally on the Famicom, or the Nintendo, and got remade for the Super Nintendo as part of a duology with the first game in the series. And both games were released as Megami Tensei The Old Testament. I wanted to play this version because, to be honest, I'm not as hardcore about old school games as I was. And the remake takes a lot of the uh, edges off by giving you an auto-mapping system and stuff like that. But, but to many people, this is the first true... Megami Tensei game. Since it's first one that has post-apocalyptic elements, the concept of law versus chaos sort of in this game. And just a lot of elements that we associate with the franchise now, so. The first game really doesn't have a lot of that. It's It's an old school dungeon crawler with where you recruit demons, but it doesn't quite have the same feel or any of the same themes as the later games in the series, including this one, so. And this game also has very little to do with Digital Devil Story, which is the series of novels that the franchise is based off of. And unless you're hardcore in this series, you probably don't know that. But anyway, I already played through Megami Tensei 1. So it, and it, and when you beat it, it kind of throws you into this game. So you won't get to see me build my characters, which I'm sure will be a huge disappointment. But. The demons are trying to destroy what's left of our world. We should be safe in this shelter, but just in case any demons appear, we're stockpiling weapons. If that happens, come back here. I can't act worth a shit, so I <laughs> might. I don't know if I'll. I don't know if I'll voice all the characters like many Let's players do. There are lots of cities out there, but this is the safest place of all. I have no money, so no... no milk. But yeah, dig the uh, late 80s, early 90s fashions. That's what makes Shin Megami Tensei 1 so much fun anyway. But it gets even better when you start fighting punks. The game goes all uh, warriors on you at a certain point, I think. Let's see. Um. Yeah, no equipment. Yep. No magic either. That's to be expected. And this will mostly be a blind playthrough. God, look at that outfit. That is so awesome. Um, I do know a little bit about this game. I've been spoiled on it a few times. Um...
Oh, Helena was the name of the character from the, uh, the name of the, um, heroine from the last game. Um, oh yeah, the names of my characters. I don't remember why I went with Theo. Um, okay, so I can't go anywhere. Um, Alistair obviously referenced Alistair Crawley, because I'm original. Experience day. Eh? Uh, and I'll have to apologize in advance because uh, whenever I... The last game I played with this controller, the cancel and command buttons were switched, so... But anyway, Devil Buster is the video game programmed by the hero of the last game. And as this game's tutorial level, you get to play it. Uh, which I'm not entirely happy about, but... Um, Especially because uh, the first Megami Tensei is not a good game. Jesus, that guy. He popped up all over the place in the last game. Now I don't know if that's supposed to be the programmer or if it's some weird Japanese thing. You can usually chalk stuff like that up to some weird Japanese thing. Ah, uh, there we go again. Alright, uh, jewels are healing items, I guess that'll be the healing item for this game as well. Uh, yeah, obvious. Yep. Although it's not exact, because, um... Yeah, it definitely wasn't an overhead view, it was... Um... First person perspective. Okay, controls are about the same, but... But it's been long enough that I may not know what I'm doing. So I hope I don't have to buy all of this equipment to finish this level. Um, I hate to grind on a tutorial level, it feels wrong, but considering that this is an Atlas game and a Shin Megami Tensei game, I probably will have to. But Let me do the math to figure out the best way. Um, but yeah, uh, weapons and armor are based on gender. So... And all these games have, um, a hero and a heroine. I think up until Nocturne. I bet I'm going to end up having to grind. But that's okay. God, I just hope that they at least let us keep the experience points we gain. Or at least have Theo gains. Um, does it would suck if he doesn't. I mean, it doesn't make sense from a from the perspective of the player because he's just playing a video game. But, well, I don't know. Maybe playing all the Shin Megami Tensei games would prepare me well in case there is a real de demonic invasion, rather than the more likely scenario of me dying horribly within five minutes. Okay. 
Note to two phalluses. That's why we love these games. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to check out the Cathedral of Shadows, which is where you fuse demons. Um, demons don't gain experience levels like your human characters do. So you have to basically grind them together. Alright, our first demon, and it's a slime. Uh, who cannot be recruited. Unless the rules change? Let's try it. Nope. Yeah, see, this game doesn't screw around, because if... If you mess up negotiations at the beginning, the enemy will almost always attack first, so... Sorry, I had no idea why I did that. <laughs> God, we're so weak and fragile, but, um, already this game's going easier on me. Ah, there we go. Alright, uh, let's see. Um, probably start out, uh, higher HP versus being able to kill things faster. Gotta go with strength. Yeah, get our squishier human buffed up to take attacks. Look at what magic she can use. Uh, Mapara we won't need. It creates sort of a map on the side of the screen. Uh, Dia basic heal spell. Patra ki cures certain status ailments but not all of them. And I could never remember which ones it heals but Alright, this might be our first recruitable demon, but... Yeah. Uh. Uh, you're getting looked down on by a kobold, which is pretty sad. And he runs away. This is a Donald Trump of demons. <laughs> Yeah, for monsters that first level D&D players can take down with ease, they're pretty cocky in this game. Oh, but I was saying that um, when I played Megami Tensei 1, the second enemy I encountered was a gnome who managed to kill me with one spell right away. Um, Alright, let's try negotiating. So in the first game, you kind of had to bribe all your enemies. Um, all right, there we go. Finally got a demon on our side. Um, I guess maybe at higher levels the other options would have worked better, but it just saved me a lot of headaches to just bribe every demon I came across. So uh, hopefully that won't hold true here, but I suspect it will. So, as always, pixies aren't that strong, but it's at least helpful to have uh, someone else in your party who will take the hits. Always nice to have cannon fodder.
So yeah, if you talk to a demon you've already recruited, they'll leave you alone. Sometimes they'll give you items, um, but they're usually pretty stingy about that. Alright. Another demon we can't negotiate with. So, let's just kick its ass. Oh yeah, something else about the game, um, if you're not familiar with it, is Magnetite is something you need to have to keep the demons healthy. If you don't have it, they'll start to lose HP. Um, and that's why spirit-ish enemies are so useful, because they usually end up dropping a lot of Magnetite. Alright, let's try this again. Just bribe him. Well, no. Let me try this. Okay, I knew that wouldn't happen. So maybe this game will follow, uh, you got you gotta bribe everyone rules. Alright. Yep, knew it. Uh, it's gonna be pretty boring if I have to just give money to everybody. Oh, well. Hold on, let's... Yeah. Sorry folks, still just trying to remember the controls. Uh. That's referring to demons. So, um... Yeah, you actually get an explanation for two of the status points, but <coughs> the conventional wisdom with uh, Megami Tensei is, uh... Okay, that's a new thing. Sounds like it'll be annoying. Ugh, alright. Um, anyway, that's a mechanic that isn't in the other games. Um... So the conventional wisdom is that intellect is worthless for the for the hero of the game because he doesn't use magic. Um, but in this game, if your intellect is up to I think 20, uh, you get to use the most powerful sword in the game. So, and also intellect I think makes demon negotiations easier, or it does in the later games. Although it didn't seem to work in the others, but anyway. Speaking of demons, let's do our first fusion. Um, we've only been able to recruit two demons so far, so... Looks like we'll have to go with Carbuncle. So I imagine if you're a Pokemon fan, this can be kind of horrifying because you're basically uh, mushing together two of your allies. <laughs> Just imagine that happening in Pokemon. But I mean, if you talk to demons in later games in the franchise, they don't really seem to mind it, so... But of course, then there's the games in the series where you sacrifice a demon to increase the attributes of the demon you just fused, which, uh... And they actually scream when you do it, too, so... So this isn't the most, um humanitarian game, at least when it comes to demons. Alright. So, now I got a demon who will hopefully help us 
defeat Minotaur. Okay, he can use Zero, which is the lightning spell. Um, all the games in the series like using Sumerian names for the magic. And Kabold has a ability we can't have it make it use. Uh, thank God for the auto option. Alright, so we've done a bit of grinding, so let's uh, set out and actually try to accomplish something. Hopefully wrap this up. Probably would have figured that out by now, but... Yeah, that's what makes Magnetite a pain. Or at least it was in the last game. Hopefully, not so much in this one. But... Sorry, I have this sneaking feeling that I'm going to have to get all the uh, equipment, but... It's also helpful to stock up on jewels. Uh, so, might as well get that over with. Let's see. Yeah. Ah. Still getting used to the whole thing. Alright, we're low on mag, so... I'm gonna brave it with uh, just a couple. Might regret it. Okay, our first new enemy, and it's a pile of crap. <laughs> Okay, this might be tougher. Oh god, this is a bad idea, yeah. Panic is the... one of the worst status ailments you can get. Um, it does go away on its own, but... oh shit. Um, okay. Uh, you don't get much for all that either. Oh god, now I got three of them. Uh, oh, I have panic, so fuck. Uh, should I escape? Ah, screw it. Alright, I don't know if Patra works on panic, but... Oh, it does! May or may not work out. Oh. Uh. Oh man. It, their physical attacks are even worse than their magic. That's not good. Uh, we're frozen and we're dead. Alright! Got killed on the tutorial level. Um. Well, I promised myself I wouldn't let these episodes run as long as uh, the Phantasmagoria Let's Plays, so let's stop it there. Join us next time. <laughs>